Welcome back to this tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing how to edit um, this um, sort of grayish area that we're seeing here on all of our pages, which we previously discussed how to um, export to PDF in our previous video in this uh, tutorial series. So today we're going to be going over how to actually edit some of these fields here and maybe even how to automate uh, some of these. Um, because as you can see, these are most of these fields are being copied over to all of the layouts, which is usually what you want to happen, um, with the exception being the uh, sheet number and sheet title here. Um, but everything else usually stays the same. Um, so I'll show you guys where to edit that. Um, but anyway, if you haven't, um, you know, got to the point to the previous part, or you're curious about how to learn how to export this to PDF or how to export your projects to PDF, then um, go ahead and take a look at the last video. But in this video, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So um, I've got this uh, sheet here, or I guess it doesn't really matter which one you look at. When you click on any of these sheets, um, so any of these layouts, right, in your layout book here. Um, so if you're not here, make sure you click there. Um, you can see that you have these icons down here and they have different purposes. So this icon here is to create a new layout. This one is to create a new master layout. And this is for a folder. Um, and then these, you've got some additional settings. If you want to update a uh, layout, let's say you made some changes to the drawings and they haven't uh, updated here, um, you can hit update and it'll update all of your drawings um, on that layout. And then you can delete layouts this way. If you select the layout here and then you click delete, it'll delete it. Um, so now where is this text located? So this is actually not um, technically located on this, um, well it's not editable at least, it's not edit editable in this layout directly. Um, where it is editable is where the master layout is. So here, um, this, this dark icon here is um, is basically what you can think of as a master layout and this is kind of what you could consider the base layer so to speak of each sheet that has this master layout so you can assign different layouts here so um, down here you can see if you right click here you, this is the master layout that's being applied to this sheet um, but you can apply different ones if you like um, so these are all the different um, preset master layouts that were created for us in this template um, so if I click, let's say this one, it probably, see it got rid of that um, sort of sidebar over here on the right, and instead it put like a menu, or not a menu, let's say some info down at the bottom. Um, so that's because we've applied a, new, a different master layout than what we had before. So D, I assume, stands for architectural D, right? Uh, at least that paper size that we normally use as professional standard. Um, and then we have a different one, architectural E, which is a different size, right? But um, usually uh, we use architectural D, so I'll leave that. And then, um, so where can we edit this information, right? Because we, when we actually create a project, we don't want it to just, uh, number one, have this logo, which is not ours. Um, we want we don't want this to be blank, and then we obviously don't want the contact info to be blank either. Um, and yeah, so let's see. And then if we make other changes, right? To, let's say we use this page for instead of exterior elevations, we use it for something else. Um, we can always change the name. Um, so let's let's go ahead and look at where we can edit the um, the master layouts. Let's go ahead and scroll down. You'll see this folder down here, which says Masters. And then we're going to click on that arrow so that we can look at all the master layouts. And then we will go to Architectural D, which is that um, master layout that we had applied in the previous drawing. And now we can see here that these fields are no longer grayish. Right Now we can actually click on them. And um, if I double tap this, I can edit the text here. So if I want the um, contact full address uh, one, contact full address two, contact city, etc. Um, I can edit this here. Um, now let me see really quickly. Oh, so this is actually um, 
this is actually being auto generated I believe so I'm gonna see if I delete it might delete everything yes so yeah so um, here's where we would um, we could manually input this and it'll apply it to all of our sheets right so if I type something here let's say I type one two three test address right if I type it there, you'll see that if I go to all of the layouts which have this master layout applied to it, you'll see this text, 123 test address underneath this. Um, and there's a reason I haven't deleted it, but I'll show you in a second. So if I, I just clicked on a random architectural layout, and so you can see that that text is showing up there in gray, right? And I cannot edit this here um, on the layout uh, to which it's being applied. So same, same is true for all of these other layouts. So let's go to the roof plan sheet, right? It's still the same architectural D master layout, so that's being passed over to this layout as well. Let's go back to that master layout. Um, so um, the reason I was uh, um, mentioning earlier that um, this, this field here, it's basically auto-generated. Um, so what that means is, um, we can actually edit this or input this information, this general project information somewhere, and uh, it will automatically populate it here. So let's go. Let's go ahead and see if we can figure out where that is. Um, but but basically, this is, the point is uh, this is where you can edit stuff for uh, all of your sheets. Like if something is being applied to all of your sheets all at once, um, or you know multiple times, and you don't want to go through and type it over and over again and waste time, uh, you can use uh, basically fields that will auto-generate themselves based on project information that you enter only once when you start a new project. So um, let's go ahead and let's see if I can find this information here. So generally for this sort of information, um, the contact full address, let's go ahead and head over to file. So I'm, I'm on file. Sorry, I don't think I'm sharing that part of my screen. But if we go to uh, file up at the top and then you go to um, info and then go to project info um, you'll get this little pop-up window where you can enter some project details we want the contact full address so let's go ahead and um, <coughs> and go here so this is a site full address let's see if we can find it anywhere here there we go so contact details um, so there's the address lines. You can actually create these fields yourself as well if you have a custom one that you want to create by clicking add there and experimenting with that. But um, for us, we're just going to want to edit this. So I'm going to click there and then I'm going to click on these three dots and then we'll get the full address one. So let's say I say one, two, three, um, test address. Um, and then I won't enter uh, a line and then we'll say test city and then we'll say we're in California or something you could say test state doesn't matter whatever applies to you and then let's just say 9001 and then USA so if I hit OK there it'll update here and then it'll pass that over to each master layout um, where this is it, you know if you had that um, that auto generated uh, text field um, in multiple sheets, it'll update in all of them um, all at once. So here it's, it's updating this once. Um, again, you could just type it, but sometimes it's helpful to use those auto-generated fields um, so that if you want to put it anywhere else, you don't, you don't need to um, retype it. Um, and so let's go ahead and, and see if this is, yeah. So if I go to any other layout, you should see that address update there. Um, so that's kind of how you edit those um, those uh, those fields. I'm not really sure what they're called. I think they're well, they're, they're auto-generated fields. If you want to input um, one of those fields, I believe um, we can do that. Um, we can do that. We can create our own. Um, but anyway, you would probably want to enter your name here and then apply that to all the sheets. Um, the site full address, we kind of saw that there as well. Um, but let's say I wanted to add another one in the same text box, um, another autogen field. Um, we can go over here 
And so I, I just opened up the text box and then I got this little uh, pop-up here that kind of follows me around. This is like a command palette for text. Um, <clears throat> so if I click on, I believe it's this, uh, this A with the, the arrow going clockwise. If I click on that, I can see all of the, um, the f all, all of the possible fields that Archicad has um, has created that we can basically enter into the project info, and then a project details and so on, and we can kind of auto generate, um, you know, whatever whatever we want. Um, so I think it's let me see. Um, let me go here, approved by. And then, um, yeah, so it, you'll know it's one of those fields if it has a hashtag here, I think. Um, this one's not showing the hashtag, but let me see. Let me just double check that that's what we wanted. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I guess I guess you have the option to use emojis, too, if you click this this option. But, um, but let's, let's say we take the, um, let's say the contact full name. Right, and I want to add that under here for whatever reason. I'm just kind of experimenting with it just to show you guys what we can do. So those are the options that are already available for us, right? Uh, let me move everything else down a little bit so we can make sure it's clear. Now we're going to go back into File at the top, and then Info, Project Info, and then we're going to go to the Contact full name, right? Um, and then we're going to click those three dots again, and then you can you can enter this as you like. Um, John, and then the family name is like the last name, I guess. So let's say uh, last name is Washington, and then you can you can order it however you like. Last name first, first name first, um, and let's hit OK, OK there, and then we see that it updated here. Um, so that's that's basically it um, for the master. Layouts, at least what I wanted to talk about right now. Um, we have, we, we can also edit these lines here. We space them out differently. I'm just kind of holding shift until it, it kind of gives me a preview there that it's showing me that it's going to select that, that line. But that's, that's basically it for how to edit those master layouts. Um, in a later video, we'll touch up on these a little bit more. Uh, but I hope you guys found that helpful. Um, if not, let me know if you have any questions about anything or anything you'd like to, uh, for me to cover. I'm happy to do it in a later video. But that's all for now. Thank you guys.